The Calendar II stone chamber in the Woodstock, Vermont area is another ancient stone construction which may be of indigenous origin. Some claim it was a root cellar. Others still look into the possibility Celtic monks built it as an oratory. Its squared-off rectangular interior is of smaller scale but similar dimensions to the king's chamber inside the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. Dimensions which incorporate a 3-4-5 triangle. Could it be the work of pre-Columbian European visitors to Vermont? Was it a root cellar? Or is it indigenous stonework? Of special note is this chamber's orientation to the winter solstice sunrise. Researcher Josh Smart shared these shots from his recent winter solstice visit to the chamber, a very busy place that morning. You can see how the rising winter solstice sunlight reaches the back of the chamber with a pillar of light. Byron Dix, one of the co-authors of 1989's Manitou, the sacred landscape of New England's native civilization, along with James Maver, had investigated the site before meeting up with Maver and named it Calendar 2 because he felt it had a similarity to the Calendar 1 stone chamber and because of the winter solstice sunrise alignment. The Calendar 1 site is about 20 miles to the north. Dix and others, including researcher Barry Fell of America BC fame, looked into this site and surroundings in the early 1970s Stones, artifacts, and plaster casts from those investigations could still be seen in a display years later at the Calvin Coolidge Library at what used to be Castleton State College, now Vermont State University. Castleton was the site of the ancient Vermont Conference of 1977, organized by Dr. Warren Cook, which featured Barry Fell, Byron Dix, and Vermont's relatively new state archaeologist, Giovanna Peebles, then Neudorfer. The state archaeologist couldn't believe or agree with what she was hearing about pre-Columbian European explorers, and later took the official position that most of Vermont's stone chambers were root cellars. Based on the stone chambers I've seen, I'd call this characterization overly general. The stone chambers of New England are each very different from one another and don't appear to be the work of any one people, but seem likely to have been built by different groups at different times for a variety of different reasons, including ice houses, root cellars, winter corpse storage for cemeteries, and, from what researchers have been finding over the last 50 years, earlier indigenous purposes, perhaps ceremonial. This chamber's appearance doesn't immediately suggest to me that it's indigenous work. I also haven't yet seen any dating on this chamber. The use of the 3-4-5 triangle may seem to suggest later European-influenced construction, but this basic right triangle predates Pythagoras, as we see by its use by earlier and indigenous populations like the ancient Egyptians. It's not out of the question we see an earlier usage here as well. We also don't know how much building and rebuilding has gone on here through the years.
the stone chamber still holds many questions. Find out more about the Calendar II stone chamber, other stone chambers and ancient stonework, and the possibility of indigenous stonework in New England in my video presentations on my YouTube channel, in our Facebook group, or in my book, Ancient Stone Mysteries of New England, available everywhere. Find out more at ancientstonemysteries.com. I'm Mike Luoma. Thank you for exploring with me.